Gentlemen here in Uppsala, you're present everywhere. On, on every corner there's a poster. And have you seen the posters yet? Yeah, but I don't know if I like it. You know, I look a little um, evilish on that. You know, I got a little evil vibe, but... But you have the biggest size. You're four times bigger than Pisa Signal. Why are you so popular here in Sweden? Four times? Let me check. Two and a half. Yeah, still well, um, it's a question I can't answer, you have to ask the people, you know. Um, we played a lot of shows in Sweden already, and um, I guess it's a European thing, you know, but um, you see, Uppsala, you know, got a long history. I don't know, it's the third time now we play here, um, but um, there is no bigger or smaller or something, you know. If, you, if I look at the lineup now, Movado, Busy Signal, you know, it's so much big acts. Oh, look at the back. <laughs> Should have made me look a smaller man. Me as a humble man, you know. <laughs> yeah, but, but obviously not only uh, Sweden loves you, but you like Sweden. Your Johanna, I think, your sax player is from Sweden, isn't she? She is, she yeah. is. Yeah, I love the Swedish mentality. You know, it's, um, it's cool. Um, not the politics, but... <laughs> On the new album, there's um, one song with million styles. So, can we expect some uh, special appearance tonight from him? Well, if he's there, you know, um, expect the unexpected. But you know, don't expect nothing. Because expectation always keep you away from the moment. You know, so we just go with the flow. If he's there, you know, um, and I see him on stage, and we feel a vibe, something might happen. So probably, or maybe, you will bring Million Styles, but unfortunately you cannot bring um, back Sugar Minot, which you have a, um, a song to on, on your latest mm -hmm. album. How, how, how did you meet him, or how did you choose him? Um, I met Sugar a couple of times already. I'm a big fan of his music, you know. Sugar is a person who did a lot for reggae music, you know, the Studio One veteran, and, um, you know, from... From the good old days till today, you know, um, Sugar songs made such a difference in the dance art, and he never changed. And if you listen to his voice nowadays, mm. you know what I mean with nowadays, it, it didn't change. You know, he still got the clarity, he still has a whistle, and I'm a big Sugar Minor fan. So I met him at Rebel Salute, and he was like, "Yeah, maybe we do a song," you know. I said, "Yeah, please." And um, I went to Jamie's and he was there and the, the vibe was just right. So, um, it's like, you know, some higher powers when we say, yeah man, we did do this song before he passed, before he left his body because he didn't pass, he's still here with us, you know. And his music will live on forever. So I'm very, very um, blessed to, um, you know, to have this song with him. Uh, your new album, Diversity is a tremendous success. D did you expect that it will sell that much, that it will um, gain so much popularity you were in the press, at least in Germany? No, no single newspaper without, uh, without an interview with you. Were you surprised about this? Here we go again with the expectation. You know, I didn't expect nothing. I tried to really keep the expectation low, but um, I mean, what is success, you know? Um, to me, success means that if I play a show, people come to the concert more than a chart entry, you know? A chart entry makes me happy. But um, you have certain acts, certain um, artists who, you know, are number one in the German charts and then they, they play in an empty heart. What is charts? What's the importance of charts? You know, I think the life thing is more important, more relevant. But um, it, 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 it gives me a certain motivation to see that my album is, is, is working and is accepted by the audience. Yeah, em empty venues is, is not the problem you are facing, actually. I spoke to, to, to Jacob from Socha recently and um, they were in, on tour with you for a couple of weeks mm -hmm. and they were so impressed. And he said he's a little bit afraid if, when you visit him if, if he can give back the same, but but, but oh. you have toured, toured the States too, haven't you? Yeah, we did do a, um, a small tour with Soja already two years ago. We played like six shows, seven shows. And, um, you know, you can't compare one thing to another thing. And we're looking really forward to this American tour. And to me, 
also it was one of the nicest actually it was the nicest tour we did mm -hmm. you know the whole vibe um, was outstanding you know soldier um, you know the musicians the people of soldier very very human very talented very passionate you know so to me it was a blessing working with them together now you know as an exchange thing going to America and having the opportunity um, you know to play in front of an audience we didn't play before you know, so it's like a giving and taking thing but unconditional. You're touring extensively at, at the moment so everyone should get the chance to, to see you but um, in case someone wouldn't make it to the concert there will be another chance you just recorded a live DVD yeah we did we did and um, summer jam you know um, I think it's going to be released in autumn mm -hmm. and um, summer jam Friday night was an outstanding thing too you know we um, had the opportunity to you know deal with the whole technique part on a certain level where it really satisfies us, you know, mm -hmm. different from a thing that we did in Cologne some years ago. So um, it's definitely going to be dropped in, in autumn. Thank you so much. Thanks, you. <laughs> All right, all the best.